Hello, my Marinek families, and welcome back to the third episode of our Mam K Reads Literacy at Home series, Reading Role Models. I am Kelsey Cohen, Literacy Ambassador and District Library Coordinator. When thinking about raising readers at home, one thing is clear. Children, no matter their age, need reading role models. While we are away from school, parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, other caregivers, and friends can serve as reading role models in simple ways. Listen as Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Annie Ward, shares a cherished memory of one of her reading role models during another time of uncertainty. Hi, I'm Annie Ward. In February of 1978, I was a seventh grader living uh, outside of Boston when a mighty blizzard enveloped our region. It snowed steadily for more than 36 hours. Plows couldn't keep up, uh, power went out, highways closed, everything shut down. Fortunately, at home we had a big wood stove and a well-stocked freezer, but a few days in, I came down with chicken pox, if you can believe it. I remember lying in bed, bored, cold, itchy, and miserable. One afternoon, my dad came in and sat at the, of, at the foot of my bed with a book in hand, and he began to read story after story. Although I didn't understand every word he read, I loved the cadence of his voice and the plots of the stories. Each one ended in an unexpected but really satisfying plot twist. Uh, my dad read to me every afternoon until the orange hues of the sunset crept over the, the snowy um, uh, lawn outside. I still have that book of O. Henry short stories, and I have wonderful memories of reading with my dad in the blizzard of 78. A love of reading is one of the most important things a parent or caregiver can pass down to a child. Scholastic's 2018 Kids and Family Reading Report shows that as children get older, the number of reading role models in their lives decreases. 77% of 6- to 8-year-olds report that many people in their lives enjoy reading. By the ages of 15 to 17, that percentage drops by nearly 30%. A district independent reading survey, which was administered to Mamaroneck Elementary students in April, revealed a similar trend. Older students in grades 3 to 5 reported fewer people read with or to them compared to students in kindergarten through second grade. This research and Annie's memory serves as an important reminder to educators and families of the powerful influence reading role models can have on older children as well. Even though older children are capable of reading independently, there are many benefits to continuing to read with children through middle school and high school. As children mature, reading becomes an inherently social act. It is natural to want to discuss and share a book that a reader has loved or even disliked. Readers thrive when they are part of a reading community of teachers, librarians, and peers in school and family members at home. Suzanne Carroll, Literacy Intervention Coach, has been reading with her 5th grade son Shane and her 8th grade daughter Charlotte. The shared reading experience and conversations that have followed have been an important part of Shane and Charlotte's learning while away from school. My son Shane and I have been making our way through the Harry Potter series. Reading these books together has become a really special time for us. Shane is in fifth grade, and although he can read the Harry Potter books himself, he actually prefers that I read aloud to him. He finds it relaxing, and listening to the story gives him the space to think deeply. As we're reading, we often pause to discuss our thoughts, our questions, and our opinions of the characters. The Harry Potter books contain many sophisticated and complex themes about family, friendship, belonging, and growing up. So it's nice that we have the opportunity to discuss these ideas together. My daughter Charlotte is in eighth grade, and we also read together, but it looks a little bit different. Right now, we're doing our own little book club. We chose a book together, and we each read a chapter or two each day on our own. Then we find some time to get together and chat about the book. In this book, each of the main characters is hiding a secret. So here, we're sharing our theories about what their secrets may be. I really enjoy having this time with her each day. We would love to hear about and see pictures of your family's literacy experiences at home and answer any questions you have about supporting your child's literacy development during this time. 
please reach out to us at mamkreads at mamkschools.org.